What's up guys and here I am moving the cursor on my Mac with the movements of my head. So the cursor is actually following the movements of my head. So I have two cameras set, one here, one there. So you can see the actual movement and I have to say this is a really cool hidden feature on a Mac. So in this video I'll be explaining how to enable this feature and also talk about some of the limits this has. And I have to say this is a pretty cool feature on the Mac and you should also try this what's up guys i'm from phone steen and let's get straight to the point and here's how you enable this amazing feature on your mac so just go to settings go to accessibility scroll down click on pointer control and there you'll have the option to enable head pointer so enable that and that will allow you to control your cursor using your head so as you can see here i'm moving my head so basically this works with the camera so the camera is tracking your face and i have to say this is a really really cool feature now there are some options here that you can play with so this is the pointer speed so as you can see here if i just type in 80 it, it increases the speed but for me 50 works fine and then you have Two options here one is to use a switch or facial expression to pause or resume so the, in this case it means pausing the movement of the mouse that is if you've enabled the head movement and next option is to use a switch or facial expression to recalibrate so what this basically means is that say for example you move your cursor with the head and it's gone too far to the edges and you want the cursor to come to the center then you can use some uh, facial expression or some other thing for the mouse to come back to the center and then you can again you know use your head to use the mouse now let me just turn this on and uh, I've, I've enabled raise eyebrows so as you can see here it's again recalibrating and the cursor is come to the middle so each time I raise my eyebrows it's going to recalibrate you know if especially if you're an expressive person you are going to uh, experience this a lot but yeah this is a huge huge advantage especially see right now i've moved the cursor to the side and it's again come back to the center let's stop that and then as you can see here this is to pause or resume the movement of the cursor so once i turn that on i have the smile gesture turned on so each time i smile mouse is gonna stop so let me show you so the mouse won't move if I move my head but once I smile back the cursor is definitely going to move and then you have another option here when facing screen edges so basically it's that if you uh, turn your head uh, towards one edge of the screen then the pointer will keep moving in that direction but if you look straight at the screen then your pointer is going to stand still but more than this the second option related to head is the fun part because you know you can play around <laughs> with the movement of your head and especially if you are using a mac in your office you are definitely going to look like a crazy person but you only know how much fun it is and then of course you have many camera options here so hi subscribe <laughs> anyways you do have many options here uh, it's nothing but you know uh, how expressive you want your uh, actions to be now uh, like raise eyebrows was a default but still each time i raise my eyebrows it kept recalibrating so in that case you know you can put it slight so only if you do a proper eyebrow raise like like this will it you know work properly so that is one thing and i have to say this is a really amazing hidden feature slash gimmick that i found recently i don't know how many of you watching this found this already but i found it out right now and i have to say this is amazing but truth be told this is kind of more like a gimmick because uh, truth be told we are not going to be using our head you know doing all these things and you know controlling our mac always because at the end of the day using your fingers to uh, you know navigate through the mac is much more easier but there will be you know use cases where uh, for example your, your hands are all greasy after eating some food in that case this might be helpful but there are limits to this for example you can't do actions like left click or right click i searched a lot but that's not possible if uh, you know that option was there maybe you could assign like a one blink 
for a left click and two blinks for right click then then this would be even more useful as of right now this is more like a gimmick where you can show off to your friends see like i can do this i can do that other than that you know this is more like a gimmick but a really nice one which is also implemented really well it's it works like 99 or even say 100 percent of the times well uh, like apart from the tracking of the head which is actually pretty good you know other features like uh, where you can pause the cursor that works well and the calibration feature that works amazingly well each time it's got it right even with the slightest movement of my eyebrows you know recalibrates it so the way apple implemented that is amazing now i'm not telling apple was the first to do this no but i'm happy to see this feature here and that too hidden let me know how you enjoyed using this and let me know if you have any experience of others telling you like you look like a crazy fellow doing this because you know at the end of the day you have to do all these actions with that said thank you for watching and this here is suman signing off once again catch you later